I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 update. Eight days and counting now in the search for a missing Chaffee County woman. Suzanne Morphew was reported missing by a neighbor who said she went for a bike ride and never returned. Her husband and a family friend are now offering a $200,000 reward for her return. Investigators have not said if they suspect foul play. Well, another search in a now year long investigation turned up empty today in Jefferson County. Private investigators and deputies were at Turkey Creek and Highway 285 looking for any signs about what happened to Jacob Paddock Weeks. He's been missing now since February 2019 when he crashed his car and disappeared into the woods without explanation. Well, state troopers are looking for a truck that hit a 61 year old man as he crossed the street in Nevada. It happened yesterday morning at West 64th and Federal, and the man was seriously hurt. The truck took off. It's believed to have front end damage and it might be missing a passenger side mirror. We are guessing thieves did not know who they were stealing from when they ransacked a Denver woman's yard. Well, they won't have that excuse after tonight. Contact 7's Liz Gillardi spoke with her and a neighborhood furious on her behalf. I love gardening and yard work and it makes me feel good. Take a look around Norma Clark's lawn. You can see the pride she takes in a home she's owned for 30 years. Curb appeal. So with her house on the market, Norma planted eight little pine trees. But when she went to check on the trees the next day. Way you're like something's wrong here. And then you, I saw holes, holes in the ground. And it just broke my heart. The holes are there. The trees gone. I cried. It was just. It was just disheartening. I'm sorry. You know, because you work so hard on something and you try so hard and some people just don't get it. Norma is trying not to feel defeated, but the past couple of years have been trying. So we spent a year in the hospital basically most of it in intensive care, trying to get my 21 year old daughter through leukemia. And that's why she's selling the house to help pay for the medical bills. If someone really desperately needs trees that bad, then they can go for it. But it was just really shocking, especially with COVID-19 happening. Norma turned to next door to vent. One of her neighbors saw the post and reached out to contact seven. I, I think Norma got about 50 responses immediately from the website next door offering support. She says their kindness helps make up for such an unbelievable crime. But whoever stole the trees should know how Norma saved up for them. It's a lot of money and they should know how much pride she takes in her home because of medical bills and things. It's just a lot of money. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Hmm. And no matter how big or small the problem may seem, we're here to help. Next time someone gives you trouble, call or text that number on your screen. Email works as well. Send them to contact7 at the denverchannel.com. And now from your first alert weather center, take a look at your forecast right now. Well, uh, about as hot as it was today, tomorrow, as we get a little uh, <laughs> focus on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, chance of showers. Uh, cools off last part of the week and heading into the holiday weekend. Looks a little bumpy, but a holiday is a holiday. All right, thanks for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone. You get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.